Welcome to Top Crew Aviation. This is Captain P. K. Yadav. Hello, guys. As we all are aware about all the procedures and uh, identification and how to read charts, so we know each and everything now about charts, guys. So, uh, guys, we would do practice today. We'll try to identify ATCs at all places to reduce possibility of mistakes in our aviation life, guys. So, this is uh, why I recommend every student to do practice again and again on charts, guys, because this is very important for your uh, examination RT part one, guys. You cannot start without. Uh, getting a specialization in charts guys so do practice and I'm helping you here guys so we would start uh, with the chart number one I'm telling you later on I'll give you a task you have to find out the ATC and uh, you have to comment okay below in case of anything you have to tell me I'll guide you further because uh, till the time you do not uh, practice anything you do not get confidence in that like uh, you know something okay so I am going to discuss about uh, two to three examples right now then I'll give you a task to find out the ATCs then I'll let you know about all the ATCs uh, at that place in uh, our next video guys okay so let's start with the chart number one okay there is one compulsory reporting point uh, by the name of Kabel as uh, we have discussed earlier too so where uh, this Kabel uh, you have to find out in chart number one this is how you have to practice right now I'm going to tell you okay so that uh, you will get the uh, hang on of the charts uh, once you will go here and there then you will come to know where are these places for now I am going to tell you and uh, most of you now uh, may be aware about this because we have discussed about this uh, Kabel compulsory reporting point while I was uh, telling you about compulsory reporting points guys so at Kabel you have to find out uh, ATC at uh, any flight level let's say I'm giving you the flight level uh, 100 over here so you have to find out what would be the ATC to whom you would call in any situation guys okay so this is how you have to find out now you have to tell me what is the ATC available on this uh, chart number one at Kabe. All right, guys. So that can be anything that can be like I told you, let's say just for an example, I'm going to give you right now. Okay, hold on. So as we all know, this area is a uncontrolled area. There is no TMA inside this area, guys, as we all know already. And I have given you flight level 100 at Kabel, or I would say overhead Kabel at uh, flight level 100, you have to find out the ATC. So how we would uh, finding out the ATC as we all know now because uh, we have uh, learned about this. This is an uncontrolled area guys. So in uncontrolled area what do we do? First of all we try for the alpha control. Okay because this is north I told you. In north of uh, Delhi nearby Delhi in all the uncontrolled areas we would only call alpha control that is the defense control if FIS is given guys okay then we would call information that could be Delhi information if both the things are not available all right then what do we look for the overhead ATC we know there is no overhead ATC on Kabel guys now we look for the next en route ATC guys so over here nearby uh, there is just one a TMA we can see and uh, that can be our end route ATC if uh, we are coming from Tiger to Jaipur that would be your daily control all right guys so this is how you have to identify you need to remember about the like how to identify an uncontrolled area how to identify ATC in controlled area and how to identify ATC in vertical separation. 
so now you have to be careful about all these things uh, while finding ATC because it is really important guys okay okay guys so take care and bye up now here you go your checklist like subscribe and share thank you for watching